<laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to the last session of our open source design dev room. Uh, and uh, as you might have uh, heard uh, already throughout the, the day or, or downstairs at our booth, we have this open source design job board. So you can post a job for if you have a, an open source project and you need a logo or a flyer or anything designed. Um, also, like whatever hardware design for your open hardware project, uh, you can post a job there, and um, it will get you to this simple form where you where you put the details in, how to contact you, what's the project about, and the idea of this session is to make that in person. So you get three minutes to present your project, um, one minute to, or I mean, whatever, however you want to use them. But the idea is one minute, uh, quickly describe your project. One minute, uh, quickly say where you need design help specifically, uh, and one minute, how to contact you, or anything else that, that people want to want to know or something. Uh, it will be timed so that we don't go over the, the limit unnecessarily. Uh, in general, how many people are interested in pitching their project? Okay, cool. So we have a reasonable amount of people, and maybe some of you who are not quite sure yet, uh, you can just you can just come and also present your project. It's no big deal, don't worry. Uh, and maybe you'll get a, a designer out of it. So um, the only thing that, uh, um, the only requirement or whatever is that afterwards, after you presented it here, uh, we would love you to uh, post the job actually also on the website so that people, um, not necessarily if you find someone here, uh, you can also just post it there and uh, then you might find someone through there. So great, so let's uh, actually start. And the idea is, um, because we don't want to disconnect and connect the, the laptop all the time, you just show the project website and you, we just do it via that, okay? So um, do we just want to start with you because you already basically preloaded this thing and um, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the timer ready and... Test. <laughs> okay, so say start whenever you want to start. Sure. Okay, uh, do you have the microphone? Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. Hello? Hey guys, my name is Ryan Sipes. I'm community manager for Thunderbird. This is Phil. He's uh, Philip. <laughs> He's the chair of the council. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you probably have heard of Thunderbird before. We're uh, the email client that is hashtag freeing the inbox <laughs> and uh, we used to be a, a part of Mozilla and now we're run completely by the community and uh, we have a really big project that has a look that's kind of a legacy <laughs> of, of a time past and so we'd like to show that to you guys and then hopefully some of you will come and contribute to the project. Because the best way to tell a designer that you can kind of help on something is to show how horrible it might be. <laughs> yeah. So this is what you see when you start up um, Thunderbird. You've got, we recently moved to like square tabs uh, to kind of follow along with what Firefox is doing with Photon. And uh, as you can see, there's a calendar on the right-hand side, but right now it just says when you start up, do you want to set up an account? And it gives you the options for the different account types that you can set up. This is the email screen of Thunderbird, and uh, this is where you would view <laughs> your email. The bottom part is the preview, although it's not really showing much of anything here. This is, this is where you could see a message, uh, see the content of the email that you're looking at. This is just a draft message that uh, Philip has screenshotted here. This is the calendar. Uh, it's pretty basic calendar up there. Up at the top, though, you see it lists out the events a in a list view and then lays them out on this. This is the monthly view of the calendar. We also have day, week, et cetera. One left, just for info. Here's tasks. Don't have a lot of time to talk about this, but it's pretty straightforward. You click the task when you're done with it. You can add tasks at the bottom. And then we also have chat functionality. It does IRC matrix uh, and Twitter, and I don't know what else what else you can add there. And then this is a theme that uh, 
the company monorail did for us. It's a imagining of what Firefox could look like. We've tried to move there as quickly as quickly as we can, but of course it's a community effort. And uh, you can get involved by, uh, well, there's our Twitter handle, and I'm going to leave some cards. So if you're interested in contributing, I'd love to help you get involved and uh, provide you with whatever you need to do that. So I'm going to leave my cards up here. And if you have like two seconds left, I think on Thunderbird. Uh, you can finish it. Then. Okay, so I think on Thunderbird, the great thing is that it's a project that reads reaches over 25 million users, and it gives you a good opportunity to show your work to the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so also please post it on the job board. And uh, yeah, it's great to have you in the community. And uh, please also join our forum. And uh, yeah, um, cool. So who wants to go next? Uh, you can just clip it to your uh, lapel. I'll just do the collar. Oh, yeah, collar. And yeah, open the project website and then. No. And I will. I will just. Uh, just sec I, I will just. You can full screen it. Um, and. Uh, no, I need a. And I will just signal. Uh, will just signal two minutes and one minute. Okay. 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 Um, go. So, uh, Kiwix is the name of the project. I'm a developer that kind of contributes, and it's founded by a French guy who now lives in Switzerland. Uh, there are contributors from the US and the UK and France and Germany, wherever. Um, the general premise is take Wikipedia with you. So in remote parts of Africa, for example, they don't have a very good internet connection. Browsing Wikipedia in whatever language is difficult. So Kiwix as a, an app, there's an Android app, an iOS app, native apps, and a web viewer. The Android app is used by about 50,000 users monthly. Um, and then there are lots of other sub kind of content specific apps as well. Um, it's not just Wikipedia. The app lets you view physics simulations and Stack Exchange posts and YouTube and Khan Academy. There are lots of different bits of content in there. Um, the app currently has no, or the project in general, currently has very few designers involved. In fact, zero designers to my knowledge. Um, so it's kind of been, all the UIs are built by developers. The native apps are currently or about to start being rewritten. So there's a good chance to come in for a, a greenfield project, a new project. But also the Android projects, um, there are lots of easy pickings for someone who knows what they're doing um, to come in and really take, take ownership of the design of these different apps. So there's a bit of everything, a bit of Android design, a bit of iOS design, a bit of web design, um, and a bit of native app design. There's also designing the content because the stuff that's not um, Wikipedia specific can also be kind of munged, designed into a nice, nice, easy to browse content. Um, so there's kind of a lot of scope for design. If you want to try one thing and then move on to something else, that's fine within the project. So mostly Wikipedia is used, uh, Kiwix is used um, in places with very poor internet connection. I personally have been involved in sending gigabytes and gigabytes. Um, many, many hundreds of SD cards to places like rural Africa um, and India and various places that it's basically hard to get an internet connection. So if you want to be involved in that, you can contact me or uh, go to kiwix.org and you can find us all on GitHub. Um, but I'll be around afterwards so you can come find me. Thank you. Okay, who's next?
Okay. Um. Okay. <coughs> okay, so I didn't plan to pitch here, and I'm very tired, so it could be messy. Um, so uh, Arbor is a, a social file sharing application that I want to make to uh, help people um, exchange files, uh, typically um, holiday pictures with your family, friends, or uh, whatever. So it's um, so it's the goal is to um, get real kind of of uh, Facebook, Google. Uh, Drive, uh, Dropbox, and all of that. So, and yeah, to have an alternative to that. So, um, yeah. But the the thing is, I'm only one person on this project, and I would be very happy to have a designer to help me. Um, so, um, it's kind of working already. So, and it's not really terrible. But uh, yeah, there's uh, still a lot of things that uh, need to be designed and to be improved. Um, so, yeah, so if, uh, if you want to contact me, uh, you can uh, reach me on GitHub or the, so to go to uh, the GitHub page, you just write A-R-B-O dot R-E, it's the name of the project, and you end up off on the GitHub page. Um, I'm designing the website right now, but it's not done, so it will be there uh, sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. Shorter uh, presentations are always uh, also encouraged, so. <laughs> you next? Okay, um, Seemly is the rebranded name of the Valentina project, and we're uh, developing a pattern share for fashion sewing patterns because we're trying to remove the barriers to entry into this uh, unnecessarily secretive and proprietary industry. It's the second biggest industry on the planet, so we have a lot of people who are interested in this, but not that many people who are designers and not that many developers yet, but we, we do have a lot of interest. So I'm here at FOSDEM trying to, to gain additional contributors. Um, this particular pattern share is obviously beta. No designers were involved with this, but the person who developed this is the database developer. So what we want to do is um, the idea was to have something that was similar to to uh, the uh, music players that Nate Willis talked about earlier today. And when he mentioned that it's actually a music player, I went, that's right, it really clicks. So I'm looking for a designer who can help us implement that workflow where a person, a designer, will use our desktop app and uh, upload it to the cloud with all the meta files required, the tech pack, the images, the, the tags, and, and then easily scroll through the images and uh, search data to find what they need. So if you have any interest in working on this project, please let me know. I think you can contact, it's not here, but you can contact us at hello at seemly.net. We actually have time for a question, so yeah, okay. let's go ahead. <laughs> Who's 
And remember, everyone, put it on open source design.net slash jobs. Yes. Just submit it there. Um. Okay. Uh, smaller. Sorry? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, command and minus. Um, hi, I'm Bob. This is Gazdotto. I uh, had a uh, lighting talk yesterday, so you can find uh, probably a record uh, on the Fosden website about the detail of the application. But this is uh, just an accounting application for ethical purchasing group or to easy uh, the local economy to purchase God, uh, goods from a local producer and sustain local, local economy in, uh, in different places. It is uh, a purchasing model quite popular in, uh, in Italy. I'm trying to uh, spread it uh, in other countries. Um, this is a website You've ca you can find here um, a demo. Uh, the application has been rewrote in the last uh, two years. And it, the, the old graphic is just plain bootstrap, uh, and uh, I'm uh, absolutely bad at ch in choosing uh, colors. The logo is quite uh, 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 ugly. Um, so uh, um, if you want to participate, uh, um, you can get, get, get a look to the demo, just to get uh, an idea to the, of the application. In particular here, it is missing a, 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 a local selector here, so the, the default language is Italian, but you can find a translation in English and German in the configuration. Um, and you can find me, opla, um, here, uh, of course, you can find the, the contacts in uh, gas.net, uh, or you can find it uh, on GitHub, and uh, that's all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and this will show you why. Okay. Uh, here's the mic. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if any one of you is familiar with skydiving, parachuting. I am. I jumped out of an airplane about 300 times. The problem in skydiving the last 20 years is that parachutes are getting smaller and uh, skydivers are choosing smaller canopies and landing very fast. That is dangerous. That kills people. Uh, so the parachute is okay, the material is fine, and then the pilot makes a mistake and kills himself because the canopy is too small. So in the Netherlands, there are now rules what kind of experience you me need to jump with a specific canopy, specific parachute. And those rules are rather complicated. So I built this website. Uh, over two years ago, where you can select your experience level. And let's say I'm a beginner. That sets, sets the total number of jumps to five, jumps in the last year to five, and the exit weight to 85 kilograms. And then shows here the green, the parachutes I can jump because of my experience. When I gain experience, let's say I'm an expert. Let's say I have done 1,200 jumps, of which 200 in the last year, then I can jump all these kinds of canopies. So it's a rather simple app. Uh, it's already working. I'm uh, uh, rebuilding it currently. This is AngularJS, and I'm rebuilding it to uh, be in React. So there is all kinds of space to change the layout and change the, the, the system. Um, what I, one of the main things I would like to change is that you can uh, app uh, or send a specific parachute to a friend to recommend it. Currently, the, if you select a, uh, it's, select a parachute, it's expanded here and it's not shown in the URL. What I would like to do is have a specific page for each parachute so you can send it through to a, to a friend. Because actually, this is also a database of all parachutes that exist in the world. You can search, for example, for this uh, parachute and it shows it in a pop-up and that should be a page in the new site, I think. And there's many more things to improve, both in just the design and the interaction. So if anybody would like to have a simple design project, I think it's rather simple and it can be explained in these three minutes. Be my guest. 
My name is uh, Robert Redmar. If you uh, go to this site, you can uh, find my uh, details. Then you have to know the site. So you have to write down this URL. It's Skydive Compasros. That's the Dutch name of the regulations. And there is in the menu information with my email address. Thank you. So this is a really cool example, actually, where, where good design can save lives, right? Or, or where this app can actually save lives. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. OK, um, anyone else? We have how many minutes do we have left, actually? Yeah, nine minutes, so like two more, maybe three, yeah? Uh, you, you don't need your laptop. We're not going to unplug anything. So just open the website of the project. It's local. Oh, it's local. Oh, um, we can Hold try. It. Hold it. We can try. If you're the only uh, person who wants to... Or do you also want to pitch? Okay, then, then you come first before we uh, unplug, and then... Hi, I'm Michael. I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I think no one did. So, <laughs> and I have to. I have a very unsexy bro uh, uh, project, actually. It's about just a sec, just a sec, uh, the mic. Ah, okay. Also. Sorry. Yeah, just take both, and I will signal you two minutes. Okay, I have a very unsexy project. Um, uh, it's a identity and access management project, and. Um, People usually hate to use it and hate to maintain data therein. And uh, so <clears throat> there might be some chance to uh, make some people's life a little bit uh, nicer. And OK, it's starting even from the web page. You can see it's really bad design, and I'm bad in choosing colors. But you can also uh, <clears throat> look into an online demo. Oh, OK, no. A bit yep. in a, uh, into a web interface, and you see it's uh, looking like the 90s. <clears throat> and uh, but you can here click into to the live demo server. <clears throat> you can even screw it up completely, no no problem. You know, um, I will restore it. <clears throat> so um, yeah, I need help because people find this ugly, and they're right. And uh, so, but it's. It's plain HTML because it's supposed to still work with uh, console browsers. <clears throat> so uh, I would need some help, uh, especially for the cascaded style sheets. So that's it. Ah, OK. Um, uh, at the website, I mean, Can there's usually. The URL, uh, yeah, just yeah, the yeah. Oh, how? Okay. Yeah, there. So it's. Ae-deer.com. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, yeah, you were the last one, or we have? I mean, no, maybe we have time for two. Do you also want to? Oh, you're too, okay. Okay. So that's the last project. Uh, we try to unplug this. Mm -hmm. Do you have a mini display for it, or? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. We are freestyling, like some of you. Uh, we just want to say thank you for the open design, because I was here first time last year, and uh, this was actually the class that made me feel home, <laughs> and it's nice to return back here. This is Eric. We are students at uh, 
Swedish uh, IT school. We're uh, studying uh, application development for iOS and uh, Android. Uh, we were uh, sitting in the classroom after the class hours and uh, just playing together and doing some homeworks. And we thought that why can't this school have an open source uh, community? Because we thought that uh, it can be quite hard to get into open sourcing just via GitHub uh, that is so big and scary. So we wanted to have it local. Uh, what we are actually now uh, doing, we did a small uh, first version of the web page. It can be found on... Um, Wow, this is... Uh, can I get it to fit the screen anyway? Uh, the resolution is... Uh, there's a screen re um, presenter resolution for me. Okay. You can command line it. Yeah. Nice. The project is, is actually up... Uh, the first version of it... Uh, on, on uh, Coffee Break, uh, with the name Coffee Break on uh, my account. And actually, we're going to present this to the school uh, next week. And what we like to do is to make the project... Now, at the moment, it looks like our school, but we want to lo it to look more friendly, uh, so it's easier to get, uh, uh, get involved and uh, not to look like material design, uh, more, more friendly. And uh, we will uh, put a uh, price also to the, to the logo and the color uh, scheme. So, uh, of course, the hardest parts, logo, colors, and uh, hero banner. We are ready to pay for also a bit for it. But uh, what, you also, what we also offer is to jump on to similar kind of projects because we think that we should take these open source projects. Uh, if you have a job place where you want to create some kind of open source things and, uh, or uh, a school and uh, let us together uh, have more ideas what these kind of platforms should have to get the open source uh, ideas and movement going. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, let me just write it here. <laughs> <laughs> or on the GitHub, maybe? I mean, is your email there uh, in your GitHub profile? Uh, good question. There is a page you can find my email. Oh, can you see it? Coolsport.se. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank okay, you guys. Yeah. Cool, so uh, that was it basically for our open source design dev room this year. Um, if you want to help us clean the room. Yeah, if you want to help clean, much appreciated. Um, or just take away if you see some trash. Yeah, uh, take, take some trash out and stuff. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. And if you want, want some stickers, we actually ran out of stickers here, but maybe there's some down at the booth. Um, and yeah, and I would like to uh, give a special thanks to Victoria who uh, organized the room this year. So. <laughs> so see you next year uh, or at a different uh, open source conference uh, near you, I guess. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so